Hello everyone, Jobexi here, and welcome to Let's Play the Talos Principle. I like that they're like, highway road signs? That's, that's pretty cool. What is... Oh, it's a star. I was like, what's that little yellow piece? No, it looks like I've completed it. Alright, let's go over to number two. Number two has three uh, pieces, rather than the number one which had seven. Let this be our covenant. These worlds are yours, and you are free to walk amongst them and subdue them. But the Great Tower, there you may not go. For in the day that you do, you shall surely die. Okay, so we're definitely drawing some strong biblical parallels here. Um, uh, in uh, the... Uh, biblical and Hebrew story of Adam and Eve. You have Adam and Eve set in the garden. Actually, before Eve shows up, you have Adam set in the garden. Uh, and he says, uh, you get to name the animals, and this whole world is yours to subdue. So we're using the same language here. Yours to subdue. Um, and there are two trees placed in the garden. The tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And in the day that you eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall surely die, is the text from the, uh, the uh, ancient story. Uh, so, we're definitely drawing some strange parallels. So in this, it's the tower. The day you go to the tower, you shall surely die. So now, in the temple, I realize there's a computer. Thank you for beeping at me. I'm going to look this way. See if it still beeps. Alright. I'm just gonna go over here for a second. Um, we went into the temple and he said, This world is yours. Know that I have many temples and ding a ding a ding a. Um, and it's all yours. You could, you know, do whatever you want. It's for your good and benefit. Uh, but now he's saying that there's a tower and you're not allowed to go there. And we don't know why. Uh, but we are told that if we do go there, we shall surely die. Now this. This could, the reason could be that uh, it's just a natural effect of the tower. It doesn't have to be a punishment. It could just be a natural effect of the tower. You go there and you die. It's that dangerous that you get killed. Um, that could be. It could also be uh, that, you know, the Elohim just doesn't want us to go there. You know, so we don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, so that's the first I interesting thing where it's like, yes, I made all of this for you, but this place you can't. That that one's off limits. It, I guess we'll find out what that what that actually means in the context of the game. So we're in an interesting spot. Um, there is one more thing. Can I get back up there? There's one more thing I wanted to touch on, but it has escaped my mind. All right, so let's take a look at this computer terminal. All right, give me the list. System resources are redirected to handle incoming network messages. All right, give me the access to COM portal. Yeah, run the troubleshooter. Uh, yeah. Yep, we know that. Uh, the most common insufficient account privileges. <laughs> so the the possible passwords are QWERTY, God, let me in, trust no one, or admin. Admin is not correct. Is let me in correct? No, how about trust no one? That's incorrect. Too many failed attempts. You could just do that? You could just create a new admin account? You will not be asked for a series of inputs. To cohere with data protection legislation, you must consent to have your responses used to develop a broad psychometric profile. Raw response data will be deleted immediately. Your profile will only be made available to other administrators. Generating certification part one, part one ready for user input. Please complete all fields. Please answer quickly and instinctively. Time is a factor in this assessment. Uh, begin certification program, yeah. Uh, two plus two is four. 
What is your subjective reaction to this image? Uh, face, or can, I'll say content. Uh, what best describes a person? Ah. Uh, A uh, being of en negative entropy is, is... Uh, compelling answer. I don't... Uh, there are non-human being persons. Like our pets are people. You're walking through the desert, come across thirsty travelers, eyes bulge from dehydration. You have water, but you're not sure how far it is to the next oasis. What do you do? Oh dear. Okay, you will receive a notification when part two has been generated. Oh, okay, so we have an Athena analysis, which is a website apparently. Tell us principal.txt and ian.email. So let's actually, since it's the name of the game. 260 years before the common era is where the Talus principle is. So let's, let's read that one. Oh, Strathen of Stegeria. Stegeria? Stegeria? Whether it is true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talus labyrinth? Or is that the same as the creation of Hephaestus? Uh, what we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze that had one vein within which flowed a liquid like blood. Uh, Minotaur? Which some claim was quicksilver and others assert was ichor, blood of the gods, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die as a man dies when he loses his blood. Oil? May we then, may we not then say that Talos, the created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man? He moved of his own volition, he spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires. Indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. Excuse me. If, then, a machine may have all the properties of a man, and act as a man, while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the uh, principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics, yet even the most faithful faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. Uh, yeah. Cool. All right, let's read Ian's email. Frank Nagati to Miles Nagati. Uh, no, that's not. Ngatai. Ngatai? Ngatai. Miles Ngatai. It's probably not as pronounced. Um, Ngatai. My first day at the Institute for Applied Nomadics on the way to work, I'm terrified. What if they don't like me? What if they're all geniuses and I'm a complete buffoon? Maybe they're just kidding about letting me work there. Trembling, I walk in. Right at the entrance, there's a life-size poster of Jeff Goldblum. What the hell? Then I get it. Institute for Applied Nomadics. Ian, Dr. Ian Malcolm from the Jurassic Park movies. Jeff Goldblum. Dr. Surabai shows up smiling. We were trying to find a cool acronym, but back when the Institute was founded, Inan, Yapn. Inapno? It all sounded stupid, but we didn't want to call it Ian, because that's a name. Somebody made a joke about calling it Jeff, and it kind of stuck, so we're officially called Ian, but if you hear anyone referring to Jeff, that's our uh, internal name, I guess. I know, I know, bloody geeks. <clears throat> okay, so the Athena analysis. Note 1, novel's first sentence. You woke up in an impossible place knowing nothing signifies more than the beginning of another amnesia-based mystery. Though we should not go so far as to read the entire work as an allegory, rather while taking the science... Oh, excuse me, I hope you need today. Science fictional novice at the core of the narrative at face value, we should... Corrupted data. Having no, note two, and having no inherent knowledge of the nature of the world, forced to rely on what we are told by others and what our own subjective, flawed, limited senses tell us, corrupted data, social reality, belief, and the objective reality matter come into conflict. Okay, so be beliefs versus um, uh, tangible and verifiable fact. Note number three. When in chapter 16, quote, a second awakening in the kingdom of Artemis, end quote, the protagonist questions her mentor on the no, for a more meaningful interpretation can only be achieved through synthesis of... 
Well, that was intriguing. I like that we're using the computers to get story. Um, I hope you don't mind that I read them so thoroughly. <clears throat> All right. Uh, there's a star here. Which means that that's probably not what this other star means. Because there's a star here. And I've collected everything. And there's a star over here. And I haven't collected everything. Okay, so I guess we're just going to have to learn what that means. What's this orange thing back here? Oh no, it's just a bright, vibrant piece of wall. Can I... Wow. Okay, so we, we get interesting. The words, the words are so I died. Repeat. But it was... Okay, so it, it's on repeat, like it's from a computer program, and we, we kind of guessed that that's who the Elohim is. He's the Grand Overlord computer program. program. You can't go in an empty absence of space. In uh, the book of John, it is uh, it starts out with the phrase, in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. Um, a little bit, very little bit later it says, and the light shone in the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. So that's kind of the same that, that's like this, what's in the same general area of the scripture that this is uh, referring to. Being in water hurts me. Words, the words are, are everything. everything. Where the words end, the world ends. You cannot go forward in a So it doesn't just say word, it says words. Um, the, the Greek word for word is logos. Um, logos is also the principal concept of... Oh, it's actually the word for concept. You know... <clears throat> So I, I imagine it, I also it also comes to mind the concept of a computer word. A word is, I believe, eight bytes in a row. Was that lightning? A word is also eight bytes um, consecutively. That could be called a word. Where the words end, the world ends. And since we're in a, a, a simulated area, that's that would necessarily be true. When the program is finished like when you if you try to go outside of the bounds of the program when all the world when all the words are behind you the world ends the program ends you know so since we're dealing with computer programming and stuff like that all right what's this say <clears throat> it doesn't this is a different <sighs> John Milton. <laughs> that day I oft remember when from sleep I first awaked and found myself reposed under a shade of flowers, much wondering where and what I was, whence thither, whence, whence thither brought and how. Okay, this is good. I just noticed at the bottom of the terminal it lists Ian. <clears throat> <coughs> it's interesting though. Because if we're currently in the simulation, I'm beginning to question whether we are. If we're currently in the simulation, you wouldn't need to have a computer bound by physical space, and in fact, you can make it look like whatever you wanted. But I guess you could also make it look like, well, what we would know of as a computer. 
It's interesting. Just keep that in mind as you're thinking about this stuff. Bob Bukowski. Uh, to 108 recipients. Grr. All these calm people are driving me mad. Have they all suddenly turned into Buddha or something? I didn't know the world had such reserves of serenity. Though these latter-day Gautamas are at least being somewhat realistic. Realistic. You know what's worse? Those paranoid nutters who are building bunkers and collecting guns. What are they going to do? Shoot... Though I have to admit, the overall response has been much better than I ever anticipated to the point where I might be moved by the beauty of humanity if I wasn't such a grumpy old fart. This minority of total idiots is really messing up my final days. Anyway, the reason I'm writing is because I refuse to believe in scenarios with absolutely no solutions. If we put all our heads together, we can figure something out. It'll be crazy, but crazy is better than dead. Crazy is what we do best on this planet. Oh no. Did something happen to the outside world that the simulation is running in? Because if it did, theoretically, the simulation could even continue to run infinitely. And we would never know. Let's read about the human machine. One day you discover that you're not a human being, but a machine. Your life was so far was real, no one controlled you or programmed you to believe in some specific way, or so you thought. Your physical and mental capacities are identical to those of an organic human being, but you were created in a lab. No one except you knows about this. Your family, your friends, they all think you're a regular human being like themselves. You continue to live your life the way you have before. Nothing would change, but how do you react? Pay specific attention to these questions. Does your concept of yourself change? Are you the same person you thought you were? Does your understanding of the world itself change? Do you reveal the information to others or do you keep to yourself? Why? 1,500, 2,000 words, 26, the final deadline, no extensions granted. Submit via email. I've taken these college classes. <clears throat> so that's that was just a, a prompt that like you would find on a syllabus. Text. I have a journal? I realize it said that several times now. I can look at these whenever I want. Cool. Alright, so the water kills me. Can I go... I don't think I can go to that island over there. How far around this island can I go? Oh, it's just another island over there. One of those is probably the island I came from. What's this? Oh, it's a, it's a raised dais. Also could be a bench. Gosh, it's just so relaxing. So serene. One of our teachers, Mrs. Higgins, told us to make a time capsule. Write letters to the future so one day we could remember what it was like to be children. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't do it, which I really regret. So, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna make one now. Bury it in the archive instead of under a tree. I don't know if anybody will ever find it, but somehow it seems important to keep talking, to keep thinking, for as long as I can. Well, she hit the nail on the head, didn't she? This this notion that if we stop talking and thinking, we somehow cease to be. Um, no, she really, really hit the nail on the head with that one. Alright, let's go through here. It's just so calm and serene. Like, I feel I could get there, but I, I can't. Alright, well that's enough lollygagging. Let's get another cup. The shadows were wrong. And then they fix themselves? It seems that there's just data corruption. Rampant and widespread data corruption. Is there another message over here? Oh no, that's the portal out. 
All right, well, let's go find ourselves a puzzle. Thank you so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play the Talos Principle. If you like what you see, you can click this button right here to be taken to the playlist. You can click my name to be taken to my channel, where you can check out my other content. Or you can click subscribe, if you like what you see, to be notified when I produce more excellent content. Thanks so very much for watching, and I will see you in the comments.